okay, this will be the last episode for the year. So, this will be a Q&A episode. So, let's begin with yung mga questions na sinan niyo sa akin. So, let's begin this uh, episode with yung question ni Kenneth. So, sabi niya, as a teenager, 13 years old, what should I do with my saved up money? So, <laughs> actually, hindi ko alam yung sagot sa question na to, pero let's just approach this question like as if, uh, kunwari, uh, I'll be younger, I'll be my younger self again. So, what would be my money advice to my younger self or ano yung i-advise ko sa younger self ko uh, with my saved up money? So, ganito. Uh, instead of uh, focusing on what should I do with the, with my saved up money, ang sabihin ko sa ko, sa younger self ko is that uh, instead of focusing what you should do with money, focus more on figuring yourself out. Like, find your passion. Uh, ano ba yung mga interests mo? Ano yung strengths mo? Ano yung likes mo? Ano yung dislikes mo? Kasi pagka ganun mo siya in-approach, pagka nahanap mo yung passion mo early on, and then... Uh, Pag doon mo dineploy yung capital na, na save mo, yung money na save mo, I think hindi masasayang yung money mo or hindi mo siya panghihinayang kahit matalo or hindi mag-grow yung money mo. I think that is a better approach to to this kind of question. And um, siguro, ito, ito, this is something na sigurado ako na wag na wag niyong gagawin sa, sa money nyo is that pagkabata pa kayo is to please others. I think this is a stupid um, thing na ginagawa ng karamihan, especially pag bata pa sila, yung uh, you gonna use yung money mo to fit in, to to uh, to be cool, alam mo yung para tanggapin ka na society. So instead, I think, uh, okay lang, tanggapin mo kung ano ka talaga, kung if you're different, parang embrace mo yung authenticity mo. So I think, yun, that's a very important advice na kailangan ng mga young kids ngayon. Okay, for the second question, this one is from Gian. A question for the Q&A video with the plans for 2020 train wreck, how differently would you approach 2021? So, for this uh, question, actually, I won't approach it differently. So, if there's one thing that 2020 taught me is that to, to always be adaptive kasi the world is always changing and I think, alam yun, you just have to try your best to adapt kung ano man yung uh, binibigay sa'yo ng environment mo to, to try to thrive kung ano man yung, yung nakapresent opportunity sa'yo. So, ayun lang. Just always be adaptive and I don't think meron ako babaguin sa approach ko na, na from 2020 to 2021. So, ayun. Thanks for the question, Gian. If may naririnig kayong gray noise, uh, umuulan talaga ngayon. So, mabagyo ngayon si Bagyong Vicky. So, proceed na tayo to question number three. So, this one's from Jan Christian Balon. How do you keep moving forward? How can you be so consistent? Did you ever wake up with all the workloads piled up thinking of giving up? If not, what would be the remedy to make it stop? Ayan. So, yun yung question niya. So, ang daming kailangan i-unpack dito, pero unahin natin yung, yung sa question na how to be consistent. So, dito sa, sa question na to, I have two uh, ingredients na kailangan mo para maging consistent ka. This is just my opinion na. So, for me, yung una is about building systems. So, yung, para sa akin, yung meaning ng pag-build ng systems is that you have to make it con- convenient or easy for you na gawin yung kailangan mong gawin or kung ano man yung gusto mo maging consistent ka. So, for example, uh, gusto mong bawasan yung screen time mo sa phone mo. You could turn it to black and white or kaya naman, you could put it somewhere na mahirap mong kuhain or less frequent mo siyang uh, ma- makukuha. Or kaya naman, uh, another example sa food, gusto mo, ano, abaguhin yung pagkain mo. So, it's either naman na uh, you put fruits in a place na sobrang accessible sa'yo para pag nagutom ka, yun agad yung una mong makukuha. While yung mga junk foods, put it in a place na uh, maraming resistance or alam mo, mas may hirapan kang kuhain. Uh, tapos ano pa? So, yung, yung, yun yung concept na una kong uh, kailangan mong gawin is that make it convenient, make it easier for you to succeed. So, build systems around to sa gusto mong gawin para mapadali sa'yo. So, ang magandang book dyan is yung Atomic Habits. So, Google mo na lang. Uh, so, parang ang concept lang doon is yung mga uh, simple tweaks or changes na pwede mong gawin para magkaroon ng uh, malaking pagbabago doon sa, sa life mo. It's it's really good para sa, sa pag-build ng uh, consistency or if you want to do something na yun nga magtuloy-tuloy. And number two ingredient ko dyan is that you need to have fun sa ginagawa mo. Kasi kung wala yung, wala yung fun factor, wala. I mean, wala pa akong nakilala or nakita na 
uh, naging sobrang consistent siya sa ginagawa niya na hindi siya nagkakaroon ng fun sa ginagawa niya. I think yun yung uh, sobrang innate factor sa kailangan mong gawin. It's either you have it or you don't have fun. It's either you have fun doing it or you don't have fun doing it. Pero yun, um, madalas ganun. Pero in rare case, you could find a way to have fun doing yung uh, gusto mong gawin. So I think yun yung dalawang ingredients, how to be consistent in something that you do. For the second question na gusto kong sagutin is yung how do I keep moving forward? Siguro pa sa akin yung mindset ko lang dito is... Um, what better choice do I have, de ba? If I'm in a place na hindi ako masaya and nastak ako dito, anong kailangan kong gawin? It's either I move forward or magstay ako dito sa place na hindi ako masaya or sa position na hindi ako masaya. So, alam mo yun, what better choice do I have? So, ang sagot lang dyan is, it's either you move forward or you stay unhappy. So, what choice will you choose, de ba? Okay, ito na yung last uh, questions niya. Did you ever wake up with all the workloads piled up? Thinking of giving up, if not, what would be the remedy to make it stop? So, uh, for sure, may mga days na feeling ko unmotivated ako or ang bigat-bigat na parang wala akong ganang gawin yung mga dapat kong gawin. So, uh, una kong approach sa ganitong situation is to take a break to pause and, alam mo yun, detach muna dun sa ginaga ako. Sometimes, it it solves the problem. Alam mo yun, gumawa ka muna ng something different dun sa kailangan mong gawin. As weird that, as weird as, as weird that, uh, as weird as it is, uh, alam mo yun, like, not doing kung yung kailangan mo gawin solves the problem. So, yun, sometimes taking a pause, taking a break solves the problem. Yun yung approach number one ko. If it doesn't work, uh, number two, second approach ko, number two approach ko is to reflect. Bakit ko ba ito nalaramdaman? Why am I feeling this feeling? So, alam mo, madalas kasi may source naman yan or may why. Whether, for example, it's relationship problem, money problem, uh, bakit ako unfulfilled, ganun. Kailangan mong i- i-address yung source. So, I think that's a better approach uh, dito sa gantong situation. Then, for number three, pag walang-wala talaga, nagta-type na ako sa YouTube ng, uh, i-type mo sa YouTube yung uh, Life of Quiet Desperation, then hanapin mo yung Joe Rogan clip. And, yun, I'll link it below and sa show notes pagka hindi nyo mahanap or mag-ano mag, uh, ako dito ng screenshot nung, nung thumbnail on. Pero, yun, sobrang motivating nung, nung video na yun. Ewan ko na lang kung hindi ka pa uh, matauhan pagkatapos mong panoorin yung, yung clip na yun have a plan and you have to spend all your waking hours outside of whatever shit job you do planning your escape and you have to come to the realization very clearly that you fucked up and you got yourself stuck so whatever you're doing you have to do it like your life depends on it and whether it is you're trying to be an author and you're gonna you're gonna if you're gonna try to be an author and you're working eight hours a day plus commuting plus family responsibilities or whatever else you have Whatever time that you have, you have to attack like you're trying to save the world. You're trying to save your life. You don't want to drown. That one and a half hours a day that you have to write, God damn, you better be caffeinated and motivated. You got to go. You got to get after it. And you got to have discipline. That's most people don't have those things. Most people don't understand what it's like to, to really go for something. And to know that the consequences of not doing that are horrific. So, yun lang. Uh, thanks for the question, uh, Jan Christian Galon. Yun, shout out sa good question mo. Okay, for the next question, this one is from Maven. What age do you plan to retire? Or if it's not yet on your mind right now, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Happy happy face emoji. Very interviewish, but actually, I consider you a really interesting person, so I'm excited to hear your take on relatively, consi- uh, on relatively traditional question. Haha, <laughs> cheerios, Maven. So, yun. Ah, okay. Uh, gusto mo na mag-comment about the being an interesting person kasi I think uh, people has a lot of misconception on how to be an interesting person. I think yung uh, misconception is that uh, to be interesting, you need to do sobrang mga extreme stuffs like uh, mag-skydiving ka. Alam mo, yung mga extreme adventure. So, I think yun yung misconception ng mga tao on how to be interesting or kaya naman by doing uh, things that people are interested in. So, Kung saan interested yung mga tao, yun yung ginagawa nila to be interesting. And I think uh, it's the opposite, yung formula doon. To be interesting, you have to do what you are interested in. Hindi ko ano interesado yung mga ibang tao. So yun, uh, I just want to say that out loud kasi I think yun, uh, a lot of people want to fit in or want to be uh, interesting. Pero ano, parang hindi nila alam kung, kung paano, talaga yung, paano talaga yung gawin. So, balik tayo sa question niya. Um, where do you see yourself in uh where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, okay. 
dito, honestly, I don't know. Alam mo, hindi, ko pwede, hindi mo pwedeng sagutin to sa interview question kasi di ka malatanggap sa work mo. So yun, alam mo, alam mo in, in, in the next two weeks, I don't know kung nasa na ako or kung ano yung gagawin ko. So, hindi ko talaga alam. Pero what I, what I know is that I would do what I wanted to do and try my best doing it. So, ayun lang yung, yung uh, alam kong uh, gagawin ko. So, the next question niya is about uh, what age do you plan to retire? So, uh, I think pagdating sa retirement, ang pinaka-concept na tinuturo traditionally is that uh, by the time you, ate, you hit 60 or 65, mag-retire ka na sa company mo kung saan ka nag-work sa corporate life mo and then makakuha ka ng lump sum money or kaya naman kung may investments ka, uh, bubuhayin ka na doon ng passive income mo. So, I think yun yung traditional definition ng um, retirement. And okay lang naman kung gusto mo yun pero kasi I think that's, that's a game for people na alam mo yun, parang uh, hindi nila na-enjoy yung buhay nila tapos alam mo yun, magka-catch up na lang sila once nakuha na nila yung lump sum ng ano nila, ng retirement pay. So, ayun ko, hindi ako masyadong believer nun. Uh, kasi ha- I actually don't believe in retirement kasi I'm always looking at my grandparents right now and up until now, uh, they're working on their business. Hindi sila, alam mo yun, uh, hindi nila kailangan uh, hindi na nila kailangan pang pag-aralin yung parents ko kasi nga, alam mo yun, my parents are making their own money um, and kung titinan mo, pwede na silang hindi magtrabaho but they still keep on working. So, ang nakikita ko si dito is that um, most people na pag nag-retire na sa corporate nila, parang mas nagde-deteriorate pa yung buhay nila kasi nabobored sila, wala sila lang ginagawa. Instead, pag tinignan ko yung parents ko, uh, yung, yung business nila, yung work nila, They, it keeps them fulfilled and motivated na gumising para oh, I have to do something pa, ba diba? So, ayun, para sa akin, hindi uh, ako masyadong believer ng, ng uh, retirement na wala ka ng gagawin tapos aasa ka sa passive income. I would rather be uh, doing kung ano yung gusto ko until mamatay ako. So, ayun yung, yun yung concept ko of retirement. Okay, thank you for the question, Maven. Pagka-interested din kayo to uh, other personal finance channel, you might check yung channel niya, Maven Money. So, ayan. Thank you for the question, Maven. For the next question, this is from Paul Russell Tellen. Great content, Jericho. For the questions, what are the three things you've learned this year that you'll apply to your life next year? Thanks in advance for answering more success to you this 2021. So, thank you for the question. Ah, uh, siguro, um, yung tao dito, ano ba ito? Uh, siguro, yun. Uh, things that I learned is, yun nga, to always adapt, alam mo Oh, we have no choice but to adapt because the world is always changing. Alam mo yun, what works right now might not work tomorrow. So, you have to adapt. Uh, it's either you adapt or you get left behind. As harsh as it is, ganun talaga eh, ba? Diba? So, yun. Number one, uh, always adapt. Number two, uh, live more in the moment. I think this is something that I really work on this year. Kasi uh, in the past years, I, I have this uh, problem with destination addiction na magiging masaya lang ako pag na-achieve ko na to, na-achieve ko na this. Alam mo, yung, uh, magiging, ayun, magiging masaya ka lang pag uh, andun ka na sa gusto mong marating. And I think problem yon kasi you have to appreciate yung mga nangyayari sa'yo, nangyayari sa'yo ngayon or yung, yung sa moment mo. So I think that's one thing na natutunan ko this year. And then last na ano, na natutunan ko is to always be open to opportunities. Siguro, uh, this lesson comes from me working dito sa business ng grandparents ko. Kasi this is something that I always uh, neglect or hindi ko tinitake yung opportunity. But this year, I took it. And you know, man, uh, I learned something new. I have a deeper appreciation about the agriculture business. So, ayun. Uh, always be adaptive. Uh, live more in the moment. And uh, take every opportunity na makukuha mo. Last question from Ange Arias. New Year's resolution niyo po. So, ito, actually, alam mo yun, you'll come, uh, pag this girl, pag mo ng 25, you'll, you'll come to a point where paulit-ulit na lang New Year's resolution mo. Uh, good health, alam mo yun, better health, better uh, money management, ganun. Alam mo yun, yung mga cliche na, pero siguro, sa 2021, if there's something that I wanted to work on or New Year's resolution is that I would practice good grooming. <laughs> Nakakatawa kasi, alam mo, I feel na ni-neglect ko tong aspect nito ng life ko from 2018 up until now. So, it's one thing I wanted to work more on next year is yung yun, better grooming. So, it's sobrang unique, diba? So, yun. It's one thing na gusto kong gawin next year. 
So ito, last comments that I wanted to read na lang. So these are just video suggestions. So from Patricia Aspa, nice, nice content always. Topic suggestions, what is your 2021 financial goals? Number two, how do you define success? Then yung another uh, suggestion is from Wonder with John. Can you please create more credit card video? For sure, I, I'll, I'll consider this for the, for next year's video. Pero yun, for now, uh, ito na muna yung gagawin kong last video ko this year. So yung, yung padating na, na Christmas and New Year, yung holidays. It's it's time for me to reflect and, and uh, figure out kung ano pa yung uh, gusto kong gawin for the next year. So yun lang. Uh, I hope you enjoy yung mga videos ko this year if you watch yung mga previous videos ko. And yun, uh, please subscribe, uh, comment, uh, hit the like button. And lang. Uh, I wish you a happy holidays and see you next year on my next videos. Bye! Bye-bye!